Good afternoon everyone and now I will discuss the second part of our discussion this week. Um, first, um, we study about the intercultural communication and now I will discuss about the verbal and nonverbal communication. What is verbal communication? Verbal communication, it refers to an interaction in which words are used to relay a message. For effective and successful verbal communication, use of words to express ideas which can be easily understood by the person you are talking. Verbal communication is conveying or sharing messages through words, using words, or you can write it using words, um, and so on. It is very easy to understand the verbal communication. I know you already understand this. Next, and according to Balgos and Sipasho, you have to engage in five um, type of communication. First is appropriateness. What is appropriateness? In appropriateness, the language you should be appropriate to the environment or occasion. Um, in appropriateness, you have to use um, correct words or appropriate words based on the environment or culture. Example, you are in the wedding occasion. So, dapat yung words nyo na ayon lang doon. Example, meron kayo doon sa isang seminar, you are attending one seminar or you have to be formal in speaking English. You need to speak in English with respect to your speaker and other people that is with you. Yan, appropriateness. Sorry. Um, nalilate yung pag ano ko po ng slide okay next brevity brevity is um, the speaker who often use simple yet precise and powerful words are found to be more credible in brevity you need to um, use simple words but precise and powerful and powerful words will um, will add credibility on you. Madadagdagan yung credibility mo dahil um, once um, other people saw your post or um, hear, you, hear you talking, they will um, give you um, more credibility na mas naniniwala sila sa'yo. Mag magiging kapanipaniwala ka. And now, um, based on this, um, you can try to achieve brevity by being more direct with your words. Oh, direct or simple words is very important in brevity para hindi na po mahirapan yung mga magiging receiver mo. So, you have to be direct with your words. And also, you need to avoid fillers which do not add to the message such as, ah, oh, you know, and um, personally, I am not um, avoiding those fillers. That is fillers, not filters. Fillers because personally, I can speak English fluently o yung tuloy-tuloy, but I can speak English because I am um, ongoing in my practice period and adjusting period in social, in rather um, senior high school department. So, I am adjusting right now. Next, Clarity. Clarity, the meaning of words, feelings, or ideas may be interpreted differently by a listener. Hence, it is essential for you to clearly state your message and express your ideas and feelings. In clarity po, um, there are some words, um, we have different words. We have different people or different receiver, different kind of people, and they can interpret those words in different ways. So, um, after sending your message or yung info and ideas um you need to clarify you need to give clarification about your message to um to avoid misinterpretation and misunderstanding and fourth fourth ethics what is ethics um in ethics you need to use words um that you um chosen carefully dapat um you need to use words na talagang pinili mo ng masinsinan to consider the gender, the roles, the, ro the roles, ethnicity, preferences, and status of the person you are talking to. Um, because um, without choosing careful words or choosing right words may offend um, people.
example, gaya ng mga LGBT, mamaya hindi tayo um, nag-choose ng tamang salita o appropriate word, maano sila, ma-offend sila. Kapag ganito, um, may kausap tayong hindi naman ganun kayaman, pero um, kung ano-ano yung sinabi natin words, tapos yun pala na-offend sila. Okay, so we have to um, follow this ethics. And lastly, vividness. Um, it is the words that are vividly or creatively describe things or feelings. Usually, add color and spice to communication. Hence, you are encouraged to find ways to charm your audience through the use of vivid words. Okay, um, vividness is the words um, that can add color to your messages, can add to, can add charm within your audience, yung vividness, parang yung creativity mo, creativity to use these words, creativity how to form the sentence, creativity to, um, tawag doon, compose the speech and whatsoever. And those are the five type of communication na kailangan yung i-engage under the verbal communication. And now, we're going to discuss about the nonverbal communication. What is nonverbal communication? It refers to an interaction where behavior is used to convey and represent meaning. All kinds of human responses that are not expressed in words are classified as nonverbal communication. Okay, it is very basic. Verbal is by words. And so, nonverbal is about expressing your response not in words okay um nonverbal communication can be actions movements gestures and so on okay here's the example stare kapag ganyan yung stare mo kapag ganyan kapag ganyan oh, diba? it is different um you can interpret those different stare in different ways sa smile oh smile ibig sabihin pag nag-smile ka okay ka nag-smile ka okay sa iyo um you are agree with some idea and so on sitting pwede yan oh kunyari ganto ka ganto ka uupo so um pag ganto ka umuupo may respeto ka or you are in formal way but kapag tinaas mo yung paa mo ng ganyan ibig sabihin ay baka tinatamad to ay baka walang pakialam to ganyan and many more and next ay, eto po, example pa, eto, ibig sabihin, okay, eto, not okay, um, and so on, eto, heart, gestures, or, di ba? And last po, before we end, I will give you one um, saying about nonverbal. Nonverbal communication is an elaborate secret code that is written nowhere, known by none, and understand by all. O, yung nonverbal communication daw, um, secret code to na hindi naman natin na isusulat kahit saan. Hindi naman alam ng lahat, pero naiintindihan ng lahat. O, di ba? Sabi mo lang ng ganyan, naiintindihan na nalang lahat. Sabi mo ng ganyan, naiintindihan na nila lahat. O kapag tinanong ka ng mga katropa mong madami, kung masaya ka, smile ka lang. O ibig sabihin, alam nila na okay ka. Ay, okay. I hope you understand the nonverbal and verbal communication. I hope you learned something about this discussion. And thank you for watching this video. And see you next time. Thank you and God bless. Bye!